Over the past 10 years, I've been living two different lives. The life that my fr family, my friends, my colleagues, my teammates see. But then there's the life that I see, that I live and that I feel. If you ask my family or friends what they thought about me, they'd probably tell you I'm a happy, go-lucky, positive, hard-working and confident guy. But all that's a bit of a lie. You see, I'm living a completely different life inside. I'm living a life of someone who suffers immensely with depression. And this is so hard for me to talk about it, but it's, but it's not just me. It's impossible for the millions of other people to talk, to talk about it. And that's the problem. That's actually the problem with depression. But what we fear the most isn't the dark place that we're in, or the dark times that we're gonna go through, or what we're capable of doing. What we actually fear the most is that our friends won't understand that we'll lose them, that our family won't know what we're going through or won't get it, that our colleagues will look at us differently or that we may even lose our jobs. But that's just a stigma we believe in exists inside ourselves. And it honestly isn't the case. It's not how society will see it. Last year in Ireland alone, over 550 people died as a cause of depression. That's more than car accidents in Ireland. But yet, we are so aware of drive safe campaigns, of road safety awareness, that our government and governing bodies push onto us. And that's great, but we all need to start talking about depression. And we need to open up. I pushed myself into a dark place, into a dark corner. A corner that only had one way out. And I thought about that way every single day for 10 years. And you shouldn't think like that. But I was alone in my own mind, even though I could never be alone. I have so many great friends, family, colleagues, teammates, that I just need to open up, and I didn't. And I can't try and help others if I can't even help myself. And over the last 10 years, this feeling of depression, this feeling of darkness and sadness became so normal. You become so used to it. You become numb to this feeling and you think it's acceptable to live your life like this. And it's not. What I want to achieve from this is to try and encourage one other person, five other people to open up and talk about it. You see, the stigma we believe exists inside others as sufferers of depression is that we'll be judged, that we'll be slagged behind our back, that we'll be painted with the same brush. We'll lose our job, we'll lose our friends, but we won't, that won't happen. People are so much more accepting to it than you think. Depression isn't like breaking an arm where you go to the hospital and you get it fixed or like chicken pox where you face once and you'll never face again. It's a lot deeper than that. But in society, if you break your arm, we feel that people want to help you. They'll open up the door. They'll help you carry your bags. They'll ask you how it happened. They'll run over to sign your cast. And we feel as sufferers that if you opened up about your mental health issues, the people will want to run away. Depression is so well documented, but yet it's just not discussed. We feel that if we just push it into a corner, we'll go away and that's not gonna help. You or me or the millions of other people that could suffer through this in silence. The first step to solving a problem is admitting there is one. So how can we expect to find an answer when we're still afraid of the question? But as a young comedian Kevin Brio said, this needs to start with me, with you, with the millions of other people that suffer through depression. In some ways, I've hated the last 10 years of my life, going through this dark and awful place alone. But in other ways, I, I'm grateful that I've gone through it. I'm grateful that I've been dragged through this darkness because it's helped me see the light. It's helped me to be stronger than I ever imagined I could be. But we need to speak up if we're suffering in silence. It's the only way we're gonna beat this stigma. It's the only way we're gonna help ourselves and help each other. It's the only way we're gonna learn to love ourselves and get out of this dark place that we're all in. Please speak up and talk to your friends or family. Thanks. Someone tell me when my heart was down breaking.